get asked a lot how to give a dog medication. Um, liquid medication is pretty easy. If you have a syringe, if you don't, you can buy one in any pharmacy or in the pharmacy section of any big box store. Um, just get a syringe and fill it with the medication, the right dosage. Stick it all the way in the back of your dog's throat, hold his mouth and sh just shoot it in there. He, the natural reaction is to lap and they'll swallow when they do that. So liquid medication is really easy. It's the pills that are more difficult. Um, if your dog is, um, you know, really motivated by food, if they kind of gobble up their meals, you can put the pill in a little bit of wet food or wet their kibble and mix it in there and there's a good chance that they'll lap it right up. If your dog is more clever, you're going to have to get more clever. Um, if you have, these are gel caps, they're squishy, there's liquid inside, you can crush these or pop them and put the liquid all over your dog's food. Um, you can also get gel caps like this that have powder inside. I'm going to try and do this without making a mess, but um, what you can do with those, the, the ends of the capsules come apart, so you'll just pull them apart gently and you can sprinkle the powder medication out onto your dog's food. So that's a really easy way to do it. If you have a really picky eater, he's going to pick up that smell and there's a good chance that he may not eat it that way either. My recommendation, if the pill or if the medication, sorry, is in pill form, whether it's a gel cap, um, whether it's just a, a traditional pill, um, there are two things you can do. One is pill pockets, and those you can buy at any pet store or the pet supply section of any big box store. They're great if your dog, say, um, it has an infection, they're taking antibiotics for a couple of weeks, they're coming off of a surgery and taking some pain meds or some antibiotics. If it's a short-term thing, pill pockets are great. They are kind of pricey. Um, but you know, you can get a bag of them for like 10 or $15 and they'll last you through the course of whatever medication your dog's taking short term. If your dog has to take pills daily, that's going to get really expensive. Either way, if pill pockets are the way you want to go, I shared a recipe just a couple of weeks back. You can click the link below this video to find it for homemade pill pockets. Um, they're made with peanut butter and they're really tasty, easily malleable. Um, you can store them right in the refrigerator in an airtight container, the dough, and then uh, form it around the pill pockets and feed it to your dog. So those are super inexpensive. It cost me about $4 to make 24 pill pockets, so very cheap. You can use those long term, or you can do it the good old fashioned way and just force your dog to take it. All right, let's see if I can get Sadie so that you can see. Now she's gonna just eat this. She thinks it's food. Sadie's extremely food motivated, so giving her a pill isn't a big deal, but what I'm gonna do, if I had to, I'm gonna open her mouth Stick the pill all the way in the back. I'm just gonna hold her mouth closed and rub her throat like this. You can see as her tongue sticks out, she's swallowing. I'm gonna let her swallow multiple times and that's it. The pill's gone. Sadie took it, good girl. Um, and that's how you would do it if you needed to force your dog to take pills. Obviously, if you're forcing your dog, they're probably not as willing as Sadie here. She's a good girl about taking medicine or eating anything. That's the Labrador in her. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video review.